So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. We have a scatter plot provided here for us to see. Anytime I see a graph, um, I like to pay attention to my intercepts. I know that I have a Y intercept right here. I'm not sure exactly where that is. Kind of looks like around 128, right? If I call that line 130, this looks like, you know, a bit above the 125. So maybe 126. I'll call it 126. So I'm going to say that my Y intercept is equal to 126. I know, I know that I'm not completely accurate on that. So I'll say approximately 126. I do not have an X intercept here to use. Um, another point that looks valuable to me is maybe this point right here in terms of the graph, right? Like that point right there tells me that when X is 10, Y is 20. So that's something I may also use. Okay, let's read the question. So the scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables, X and Y. An equation for the exponential model shown can be written as y equals a b to the x. I'm going to just rewrite that. y equals a b to the x power, where a and b are positive constants. Which of the following is closest to the value of b? All right, so which one is closest to the value of b? Well, I'm going to use what I know. All I know really is this information here, which is telling me that the y-intercept is roughly 126. The y-intercept is found where x is equal to 0. So I can actually play around with that information. I'm going to replace x with 0, replace y with 126, and I would get 126 is equal to a times b to the 0. Anything to the 0 power is equal to 1, so this whole thing just becomes a 1, which means we get 126 is equal to a. And again, it's not exactly 126, right? It's somewhere around there but not exactly. So that tells me what A is. I'm looking for the value of B, however. So what about this information? Will that be helpful? So again, if I have my Y equals now, instead of A, I'm gonna call it 126 B to the X. Then this information here tells me that Y is 20 when X is 10, right? So I have 20 equals 126 times b to the 10th power, I could divide both sides by 126. I go to my calculator and I see that 20 divided by 126 is equal to 0.158. So I have 0 0.158 equals b to the 10th power. I can then do a 10th root for both of these in Desmos. Okay, so I know that's going to just become B, so B equals. I'm going to go to Desmos now and actually type in the 10th root of 0 0.158. Type that in, all right? And I am getting that that gives me a B value of 0 0.8315 and a few more numbers. Given that, I'm going to say my answer must be choice A. It's not exactly what I have, but it actually is very close to what I have here. Um, if I were rounding just to the hundredth place, it's exactly what I have here. And I feel confident that it's right, even though I know that I kind of guessed on this 126 value here. I'm assuming, I mean, I'm pretty confident about this one, but I'm you know assuming that that goes perfectly through the 0.10 comma 20. But because the question says which of the following is closest, I can do that. And because my answer choices are so far apart, right? There's no other answer remotely close to 0 0.83. While I might be off slightly, I'm not off by one, right? I'm not off by a factor of, of you know, I'm not off by that much for it to be C or D or B. So that's why those are gone. And choice A is our best answer here.